Hello, my name is Jessica Cruz, and today my consulting team and I, JPPAC Consulting, are going to be going over a business analysis proposal for Walmart. Walmart is known to be the number one retailer in the world, but with this being said, Walmart is also known for their shrinkage and their shortage. This can be an issue for a company because it can make their customers turn to their competitors instead of turning to them for their products. When my team and I analyzed Walmart's 10K reports over the last few years, we saw that there is an increase in expenses. When analyzing their revenues over the last few years, we can see that there is an increase in revenues, but when comparing the previous years, we can see that the percentage change in revenues compared to the last year has been decreasing over the last few years. We believe that there can be improvements made to Walmart by enhancing their store layout and design, utilizing storage space better, offering more services and selling more items that customers would want in order to reduce shrinking and out of stock shelves. Our goal is to provide Walmart with an analysis that is valuable to you. Our team is dedicated to coming up with a plan to help the company achieve all their goals. Some research questions that we will be going over include, what steps is Walmart taking in advancing in technology to continue to compete with the retail industry, how successful are Walmart's marketing and product skill, product strategies in comparison to competitors? How has Walmart been doing financially over the past few years? How successful does Walmart plan on expanding its e-business throughout the globe? What are some of Walmart's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, threats, and threats in competition? Hi, I'm Aaron Glover. Um, our research methods included going online to various reliable websites to find the potential problems that Walmart might face. Um, then we took that data, collected it, and we compared it with our own data. And the data that we collected shows that, you know, there were a lot of areas for improvement, um, including employees and uh, just managing the store layout a little bit better. But overall, the company is obviously very successful. Um, but we believe that, you know, with our research methods, we can make it even more successful. Our goal is to provide Walmart with an analysis that is valuable to you and then provide you with information to secure any possible improvement. Um, the goal for our team is uh, to be dedicated to coming up with a plan uh, to help the company achieve their goals. Thank you. Hello, my name is Charlie Agnew, and I will be talking about marketing and product strategies, financial performance, and internet and e-commerce from the proposal for company analysis of Walmart. For marketing and product strategies, research questions who asked, how successful are Walmart's marketing and product strategies in comparison to its competitors? For this question, my team and I analyzed different variables in comparison to Walmart's competitors. We looked at the lower product cost, a variety and selection of different products, uh, increased quality merchandise, number of stores throughout the world, online marketing chain, retail and wholesale. And then we have a graph here that shows where uh, Walmart stands with operating margins uh, and its competitors. As you can see here, Walmart is, necess is right along the middle. Uh, it has a good sitting with between, you know, it's not the top dog, but it's not the underdog. It's got a nice comfortable sitting between, um, it's a good competitor for its competitors. And then that leads to us to our financial performance. Uh, research question three asks, how has Walmart been doing financially over the years, or over the last couple of years? The financial information that my team and I used was from the Walmart's annual reports and 10K reports from several years to analyze performances. The following will be compared to competitors. We look at the profitability, liquidity and stock prices. Uh, as you see here, we have a <clears throat> chart from Yahoo Finance and on the stock prices. Uh, and it looks at, as you can see, from 2017 to 2021, Walmart has had a dramatic increase in stock price over the last couple of years. So that leads us to our internet and e-commerce. Uh, so research question number five asked, how successful does Walmart plan on expanding its e-business throughout the globe? Our team focused more on the problem by reviewing Walmart's advantages by using online shopping, grocery picking, and delivery. The following are certain customer and company benefits that come with online using. So no delivery fee, 
Walmart offers freshness guarantee. The prices are typically lower. It helps people who are handicapped, elder, or even in a rush, perhaps. Uh, and you can collect and share data about groceries and shoppers' habits to Walmart. So we can kind of pay attention to what shoppers like when they go shopping. And then it also keeps us more aware of what's in stock and also out of stock. And that is it for marketing and product strategies, financial performance, and e internet and e-commerce. Thank you. SWOT analysis, research question five asks, what are Walmart's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats in the global competition? Based on discoveries from the previous research questions, our team will be able to identify Walmart's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Using a SWOT analysis, this analysis will be very helpful for Walmart in order to properly come up with strategies to handle certain threats and emphasis in certain strengths. For example, when it comes to strengths, they will save day delivery within the city. Urban core has one hour delivery, high quality foods, 200 plus drivers, trusted and high exposure. And for threats, it can operate a loss to drive away from competition, costly state laws to oversee grocery delivery and accountability under review. Also for weakness, costly no monthly subscription options or scaled payment arrangements inaccessible to a target audience and properly optimized seo and lastly for opportunities it optimizes current mobile apps for responsiveness and built-in feedback it also attracts a larger wider target audience and seo focus it can help drive a great amount of traffic and improve online rankings for recommendations and implementation plan our company will use SWOT analysis to provide your company with your issues and also give you solutions to the problems. We will present your company our solutions and implementation plan that will benefit the company to be more effective, efficient, and also profitable. We will give your company a formal report as well as an oral presentation on Zoom. Hello everyone, my name is Paige. We can plan to complete our project in a minimum of eight weeks. Our project does require a budget for traveling and hotel expenses to selected Walmart stores throughout the U.S. With our team, we have five researchers that are very qualified, skilled, and we have a lot of knowledge and experience that makes it a great fit for Walmart. Each member is currently studying for a Bachelor of Science degree with the Miller College of Business at Ball State University. We major in business administration, marketing, logistics, supply, chain management, entrepreneur management. Our team does believe that our expertise will be a great addition for you. You may refer to our professor, Dr. Zaho, um, if you have any further questions about our qualifications. For further success at Walmart, we strive to make sure that all of our customers have the goods of their wants and their needs. Also to make sure those wants and those needs come very easily. Walmart's process as a top tier supply chain is to provide customers with 7% lower prices than competitors. This strategy helps Walmart business expand and makes everyone happier.